Hey there, thanks again for watching. Dr. Erickson, EHS Physical Therapy Chiropractic, as well as the uh, Challenge Wellness and the Herniated Disc Fix. Dr. Jake Anderson here with Essential Motion Spine and Sport. Today we're going to come at you, okay? We know you have pain, right? You, something's going on, it's bothering you, you want to do something about it, okay? But you don't know where to start, you don't know who to see, okay? So we're going to cover how you can um, start out, what, what things you need to be aware of, and then the kind of different routes you can go in to get the help you need. So Chris, what do people need to be aware of right away? You know, they, they recognize that they have pain, they're starting to want to do something about it. What should they do right away? Yeah, so very common thing, this, is, this happens to almost all of us at some point in our life, that, that acute mechanical pain. In this case, you know, we, we spend a lot of time talking about spine pain, yep. neck, mid-back, uh, lower back, but that could be anything. It could be shoulder, elbow, knee, anything else. Um, I mean, for this talk specifically, we will kind of focus on a little bit of the, of the back, but initially you have a couple of different avenues or routes you can go down. Uh, the first thing is to recognize the fact that something has happened and then to not completely stop you know, doing movement altogether. Yeah. Like, tra if at all possible, you can modify, definitely modify activity, but stay moving, uh, stay as active as possible. Uh, don't start, you know, digging deep into the internet and looking on, you know, different um, different posts or different yeah. WebMD or Google this. Support That'll just make you more, you know, more fearful and more scared yeah. about things. So, the three options that we probably have um, initially, uh, many people will want to go to their primary care provider. So, they're going to call a doctor's office. They're going to say, hey, my back hurts, my neck hurts. When can you get me in? So, many times, these places may take couple days to a week or two and even even to get you in so we feel that it's important to try to get in um, very quickly so same day if not within 24 hours yeah. because many of the pains and say injuries or, or problems that can happen uh, with the the spine so the cervical spine the lumbar spine can be resolved and and quickly changed within a couple of days to a week yeah. so waiting without that um, that extend, guidance yeah, or help it can extend your recovery. yeah yep yeah. so that's that's what that'll look like let's talk about Jake, tell us kind of what it would look like if you go that first route and you go to the to the MD route, what that will kind of look yep. like. And then let's talk about maybe going the second route where you can uh, just skip that part and go right to a to a, a spine or a mechanical, spain, mechanical pain specialist like what we do. Yeah. So the common scenario that we hear is they're in pain, you know, patients in pain. They go to their primary care because that's what we've been trained to do. That's what we've always done. Always go to your primary care doctor. They'll handle everything. They'll tell you what to do, which is fine. I mean, that's a viable route. Yeah. So you'll go to the, you'll make an appointment, you'll go to the primary care office. Like Chris said, you know, it might take a couple days before you can get in, okay? Once you get in, they will do a brief history, brief exam. They might move you around Very a little brief. bit. That's the, <laughs> yeah. That's the problem is they're, they're, I mean, traditionally, they are not trained to handle mechanical pain. They're trained to handle disease, disease processes yeah. and pharmacological using, you know, medications to stop, you know, disease processes like uh, a sickness, a diabetes, a, yeah, yeah, heart, you know, that's, they're not trained for mechanical pain. Yeah. 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 And that's what we see all day long. So they'll do a brief exam. They might move you around a little bit, check your range of motion, but there won't be much else. There won't be a deep, thorough movement screening. They won't test painful movements. If you're having pain lifting overhead, they won't test your painful overhead with kettlebells or whatever you might be lifting. We try to mimic that in our office. But anyway, they will go through their brief exam. You're likely, almost guaranteed, yeah. you're going to get x-rays. Yeah. X-rays are not going to provide any valuable information for the most part. Rarely do they change the course of treatment with it's, the information Especially they if your pain came on without an acute um, injury. injury. Yeah. It, there was no mechanical reason for you to There's have no an x-ray. Yeah. Not a car accident, not a fall, yep. not a uh, Sports traumatic injury. accident. Yeah. There's really no reason for that, but that is their standard of care, which is different because like, like we've talked about before, and if you don't know this, it's okay, but there is no standard of care no. to treat mechanical spine pain, but when you go to the, the, the general um, GP, primary, yeah. Yeah, primary care, family practice, you're going to get that x-ray charge and advanced imaging for really no reason. Yep. And then after that, there's probably going to be, it's going to show arthritis, it's going to show degen G DJD, degenerative disc disease, and all this stuff, disease, it, it yeah. doesn't really matter. So everyone's going to have that. It doesn't really contribute, it correlates poorly with pain, and just because you have it doesn't mean you're set for a lifetime of pain. Mm -hmm. So. They're just going to say, okay, there's nothing we can do. It's arthritis. Here's, you know, 800 milligrams of ibuprofen and a muscle relaxer. Yep. Okay. So you're going to take that. And, and go home yeah. and rest for a week and a half, two weeks, and don't do anything. Yep. And then come back and see us if it doesn't go away, which some will, but the majority won't go away. Right. As soon as you get back to your activity, you're going to hurt again. So you're, you know, at this point, you're five, $600 in, and then you have to come back for a follow-up where there's going to be another two or $300 charge. You're $1,000 in, and you haven't gotten much valuable um, solution yep. to the problem. 
So then let's at go. At that point, then they may actually send you to PT for conservative care right. for physical therapy or, or chiropractic. Yeah. At, at that point. Following all that. Yeah. So let's go through the scenario. If you enter through a portal ventricular care mechanical pain specialist like a PT or Cairo, what does that scenario look like? So in most states, in fact, I think in all states, I think Texas was maybe the last one, and even they are now. Um, it's always been the case for chiropractic, like what Jake does. On the physical therapy side, uh, you can directly come see you know, a, a clinician or a specialist like, like Jake or myself um, from the first day that you feel that, that pain or symptom. So we, yeah, no, we referral needed. no, no referral needed. You can come right in and we tend to, you know, have those openings available. Um, we can move some things around same day within 24 hours, uh, which will look completely different as far as the, the mechanical, um, the subjective and the objective ex yeah. exam. Yeah, sure. So with us, it's going to be at least you know, 30 to 40, 30 minutes at least of, of questions and moving around and, okay, does it hurt when you do this? Test this. How do you feel when you move this way? How do you feel when you move that way? And kind of drilling down and digging into what is the, the likely scenario or cause yeah. of, of this, of this pain and problem. Yeah. So when you can subcategorize and you can, you can drop it down, like Jake said, into a bucket of what is most likely causing uh, this pain. We can then show you, obviously there'll be treatment, you know, the same day within the office, a mechanical pain, which most things are, requires a mechanical solution, as opposed to a chemical pain, which is occasionally, it yeah, can happen, um, a lot of times will require a chemical solution, but the, the, the disconnect happens when you go to the primary care and you have a mechanical pain that's trying to be treated with a chemical solution. They, they don't, they don't, uh, you know, they don't, they don't know. Yeah. it doesn't work that way. Training, yeah. So that mechanical um, treatment will happen the same day, along with um, an education about what it is that you have, what's going on, and what you should be doing at home to help yourself. Rather than scaring you and saying you have all these things and don't move, don't do anything, just go home and rest, which is not the right answer. I mean, first of all, it's not the right answer. You will have a plan to know how to move, what to work on throughout the week, and then have multiple visits that week um, with, you know, with one of us or one of our, t one of our team members. Which is key. Yep. So then it's you. So you're making you're making progress from day one yep. to day two to day four to day six throughout that that week or two. You probably will be, if not you know, vastly you know, 80, 90 percent improved over the, over the course of yeah. of seven to ten days. You'll at least be a good you know, 40, 50 percent improved yeah. over that time frame. So now we've already shortened that window of you being. Um, down, cool. you, yeah, you Avoiding being, activity. yep, yeah. and probably, I mean, other things, lost work, uh, lost activities, yeah. um, you know, the fear, um, the longer that you're in, in pain and have those tissues that are not being treated appropriately, the longer it takes. I mean, the quicker you can get right on top of it and start moving and know what way to move, what way not to move, that is the, the key to, to quickly solving uh, mechanical pain because it does, it can change pretty quickly. Yeah. That's, the, that's the other route. Yeah, uh, and then on an extreme route, you know, some people will go to their primary care, they're fed up, they don't want to do PT Cairo, they don't want to try that because they've already had all these other treatments that haven't worked. So they'll think, okay, I want to go directly to an orthopedist or directly to a specialist. Spine surgeon. Spine surgeon, neuro neurosurgeon. Yeah. yeah. And that will typically involve, again, a brief exam, brief history, lack, not a huge, you know, movement, thorough screen, and then they'll probably go MRI. Yep, for sure MRI. And at that point, you know, anything, anything's possible. An MRI is going to show everything, but it doesn't necessarily tell you that's what's wrong. Yeah. So we have to get out of that mindset as patients that, oh, if I just get a picture of what's going on inside, I'll know exactly, know exactly what's what going on. That's, that's going to tell us exactly what true. to do. Yeah. And the, the thing is, it just shows you a picture of your body in space. It doesn't show you in the middle of the aggravating activity. It doesn't show you, you know, after you've been standing for three hours and you, now your legs hurt and now you're feeling stuff coming down the leg. It just shows you what's there in your back. Some yeah, of it can highly, correlate, some of it cannot. It's highly, highly sensitive, yeah. meaning it shows everything that's there, but it's not highly specific as to, as to pointing to what is the cause. It just shows everything that's there. And yeah. then we still have to figure out what's the most likely scenario. But like Jake was saying, that's, that's the next, that's the third route. And then knowing that just this, this is just the numbers, this is just what you know, research and, and science has told us, that the vast majority of that, even that group, 95%, anyway. you know, yeah. will heal conservatively and will not be candidates for surgery anyway. Yeah. So again, you get kicked back over to the, to the PT side. Um, conservative, yeah. conservative side, PT and chiropractic, right? And then go through that same course where you could, again, you could skip that point and just go right through that, you know, the, the, the funnel um, of starting 
with the conservative care, and then the, the few, the four or five percent that do require it, then you kick out we, we, will, we will get you to the right place you know, yeah. if we can't get that fixed within the first couple days. Right. But at the end of the day, your best bet is starting with a portal of entry conservative care provider, have them reason through the whole scenario. They can triage you. Mm -hmm. If you are a good PT Cairo candidate, perfect. Stay here. We'll treat you. We'll monitor progress. If you are not, okay, we'll kick you out. We'll go to another specialist, a different yep. provider, whoever yep. might be best to benefit you. Or if there's no change along the way, and now we have the signs, okay, yeah, this doesn't really fit yep. the mechanical bucket. Let's get an image at this point, or let's consult someone else. Mm -hmm. But regardless, we can help kind of guide you through the path, knowing that most of you are going to get better just staying on the Cairo PT path. Mm -hmm. I mean, the vast, and the vast majority of people that we talk to and see want to heal naturally. Yep. They don't want to have to use uh, narcotics or medications no. or unnecessary injections. And the vast majority of people don't want surgery. No, there's I no, mean, yeah. that, so that, that is, the, that is the, the correct path for, again, 95, 96% of the people that have this kind of problem. Um, the other thing is that when we think about, um, you know, when you have this pain or this problem, the, the, the key points that we talked about were, you know, the right portal of entry yep. and then active movement, but um, controlled. Contria. Yeah. So, like, it's not total stop, right, where you just rest and lay down and yeah, do nothing, modified. do nothing. It's modification of the activity, but stay active, stay moving as best you can within a range that you're comfortable with. Uh, and we'll help, you, we'll help you determine what that appropriate direction is, what the appropriate range yeah. is, what a Load, true volume. better and worse is. Yep. It's not wrong to increase some pain yep. at times. It just depends on where it is. Um, if you does lose it motion, does it, yeah, there's, a, there's some caveats to that. But um, knowing and understanding and feeling more comfortable and, and confident about how I move and what's okay to have a little bit of increased pain, what's okay to not have some increased pain, will give you some more confidence um, to help yeah. heal yourself. And help you recover quicker. Yep. So. If you are in this situation, you're dealing with pain and you don't know what to do, we recommend you start with a chiropractor or a physical therapist. If you're in the Omaha area, we're out in Elkhorn, we can help you out. We also have a clinic on 50th and Center. Yeah. And then if you need someone else, Bellevue or wherever else, we know providers all over the area that we know, like, and trust. If, if we, that can we can help you, you we'll, we'll get you to the person that can. Yeah. yeah. So if you have questions, comment below. We're happy to answer even, any questions. Even, uh, virtually. I take, yeah, clients, virtually. I take clients virtually and take you through the whole process, um, help guide you, coach you. Uh, through that process, if you're fed up with the, the traditional, like that's what we're talking about. If you're fed up with the traditional model of, hey, I've had this happen in the past. Every time I go to the doctor, they just tell me the same thing. Yep. No one ever gives me any different, you know, answers or 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 help or even any guidance. It's just always stop doing that. Don't do that. Take it'll, this. It'll, yeah, it'll take this. It'll it'll go away after time. Well, sometimes you need a little bit more uh, help and guidance um, yeah. through that. So we can do that virtually as well. Yeah. So comment questions below if you guys need any help or need some suggestions, we're here for you. So just ask away. We'll see you on the next one.